Eggshell contains 90% calcium and is therefore the best natural source of this mineral. Instead of them ending up in the trash, use them. In order to be ready for use, the shells need to be washed and dried well, and then crumbled into smaller pieces or ground, depending on what you will use them for. And don't worry, there won't be any unpleasant smell if you clean them properly. Eggshells contain the very important macronutrient calcium. They are a natural source of minerals and besides calcium, they also contain iron, copper, manganese, phosphorus, chromium, molybdenum, magnesium, natural fluorine and proteins. One teaspoon of eggshell powder contains approximately 800 to 1000 milligrams of calcium. As calcium is lost from the soil by leaching, that is higher amount of precipitation, and absorbed by annual plant yields, this leads to a gradual increase in soil acidity. By gradually adding calcium to the soil, its acidity decreases and the soil becomes loose. Calcium also binds acids in the soil, strengthens its structure, increases resistance to drought, enables better absorption of microelements and increases the yield of planted crops. Vegetables for which calcium is very necessary for their growth and development are tomatoes, peppers and eggplant. In the absence of this mineral, there is a physiological change in the fruit known as top rot. The first symptom of this disease is a brown spot on the bottom of the fruit that spreads in concentric rings. The lack of calcium in the soil can be seen on the leaves of young plants in form of chlorosis. The plants grow more slowly, the development of the root system is slowed down, and in the later stages of the plant's development, the darker color of the leaf vines is expressed. The leaves begin to twist and the plants lay down due to the weakening of the cell walls. First of all, it should be noted that collecting eggshells is a long-term process. For example, I collected eggshells for a longer period of time in order to use them in my garden. It is especially recommended to use shells at the time of planting seedlings. When small pieces of eggshells are sprinkled on the soil, it will give your plants a healthy dose of calcium. Although nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are most important for healthy plant growth, calcium is also essential for building healthy bones, for example, plant cell walls. Given that they are full of calcium carbonate, eggs are a great way to deliver this mineral to the soil. Since it takes a long time for the plant root to absorb the eggshell, it is recommended to sprinkle them in the fall. That way, more shells will reach the soil by spring. It's also not too late to add them when you're planting your plants. In order to initially provide calcium to your vegetables, add eggshells when planting. Before that, crush or grind them into powder using a pestle or an electric coffee grinder. The eggshells should be dry so that they are easier to crush. When planting, add a small handful of grounded eggshells, hummus, soil and manure to the hole. Later you can sprinkle them with powder which you will put next to the plant and water them abundantly. Eggshell can also be mixed with other organic substances and you can put them at the bottom of the jar or pot so that newly planted plants can grow better. For a good recycled garden cocktail, try mixing eggshells with nitrogen-rich coffee. The shells will reduce the acidity of your soil and help it to be airy. Eggshells combined with coffee grounds are an ideal natural fertilizer for your indoor plants as well. 
The shells should be placed in water and left overnight. In the morning, coffee grounds are added to that and water in ratio of 1 to 4. And the plants are watered with that solution. It is recommended to avoid this procedure in the winter because the water can have an unpleasant smell. Add the crushed shells to your garden compost. Egg shells decompose quickly as they are rich in calcium and minerals. They will help the microorganisms to process the compost better and enrich it with calcium. They can also be used as mulch around the plants, but in that case you should have a lot of them. Given that eggshells are biodegradable, they make an excellent base for planting seeds. To do this, keep all the deeper halves of the shells. Don't break them into smaller pieces. If you would use the shells of fresh eggs, cut off the top, pour the content into a container and sterilize the shells by boiling them or placing them in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes. Next, make a hole in the bottom of the shell for water drainage. Add some soil and seeds. When sprouts appear, plant the egg directly in the soil. As the shell will break down over time, it will provide the plant with the necessary nutrients. They will also serve as fertilizer if you grind them and mix them with water. However, it will take at least a month for them to break down, but they will serve you during the season for feeding plants. If you add coffee grounds, which are rich in nitrogen, to this mixture, you will get an excellent supplement. Eggshells containing calcium carbonate react with acid to release pure calcium, water and carbon dioxide. We can release calcium using apple cider vinegar. In order for the calcium to become available to plants that need it, the shells must be crushed and covered with natural apple cider vinegar, then left to stand for about 20 days. It is necessary to use a glass container that is covered with some breathable fabric and the solution must be stirred every day. The amount of peel you have needs to be grounded well, put in a container covered with apple cider vinegar so that the vinegar is two fingers above the peel. The fermentation process starts immediately and the mixture begins to foam. As long as the mixture continues to foam, it means that the fermentation process is not finished. After the end of fermentation, strain the obtained liquid and use it as a foliar supplement over the leaf. You need 2-3 to three tablespoons of this solution per liter of water. Use this preparation for spraying tomatoes, peppers and other plants that need calcium. You already have a detailed video on the preparation of this product on our channel, so feel free to look for it. You can use eggshell water for your flowers. You must add at least 6 eggshells, but it can be more, in 10 liters of water. Let it stand for a day or two and then water your flowers with it so that they are lush and luxurious. Eggshells can also be used as protection against snails, but then they must not be crushed, but beaten and placed around the plants in a thicker layer to prevent snails from reaching them. In addition to vegetable farming, you can also use eggshells in feeding laying hens, providing them with calcium, which is necessary for the formation of bones and eggshells. But it also has other functions, the most important of which are transferring fat via the bloodstream to the yolk sac, blood clotting and muscle contraction. Sterilized in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes, add the chopped eggshells to the food for the birds. Mulching of plants in the garden plays a big role in all of this. 
In this way, the soil will retain moisture longer, the plant will absorb nutrients better, and of course, you will prevent the growth of weeds. We talk a lot about this method on our channel, including a video about mulching. If you are interested, look for it on our channel. And in the end, here's some notes. If you collect the shells, after breaking the egg, wash the shell, because after a while the collected shells might start stinking. Wash them thoroughly, but don't remove the thin membrane from the inside. Put them in an airy container, like a pasta strainer, and dry them completely in a sunny place. In this way, the shells will be easier to grind and will not have an unpleasant smell. I hope you find this video useful. For more tips on growing fruits and vegetables, follow our channel and learn everything you didn't know about growing plants. Don't forget to click on the bell beside, so you can get notifications on every new video we post.